Hello and welcome to this video looking at how waves transfer energy. You should be familiar with several different types of waves such as water waves, sound waves, the whole range of the electromagnetic spectrum and you've probably looked at different types of seismic waves caused by earthquakes as well. All these different waves have, have the sum properties in common. They all transfer energy from one place to another and none of them transfer matter. As the wave moves through the material, the particles vibrate. They might vibrate perpendicular to the motion, they might vibrate parallel to the motion. But as the particles vibrate, they transfer energy and information to the particles next to them. These in turn pass them to the particles next to them. In this way, energy and information is transferred by the wave. But at each time, the particle ends up back where it started from. So the particles don't move. The material that the wave's passing through doesn't move from where the wave started to where the wave ends up. The material stays where it is. So that's why we say waves transfer energy, but not matter. OK, it should be expected to describe evidence for waves transferring energy and not matter. You'd be expected to be able to do this for sound waves. So the example we're going to look at here is in a guitar string. As the guitar string is plucked, the string will vibrate back and forwards. It will transfer energy and information to the surrounding air particles, but the string will end up back where it started from. It isn't transferred. As the surrounding air particles have energy transferred to them, it will cause them to vibrate up and down. This vibrational energy will be passed on to the surrounding air particles, causing those to vibrate and pass energy on to the next air particles. So in this way, the energy is moved away from the guitar string outwards, eventually to our ears so we hear the music. But what doesn't happen is the air particles moving away. They, after the vibrating, they go back to their starting position, the same as the string has done, same with the air particles. They go back to their starting position. If they did move, what we'd get is a vacuum. All those air particles would move away and we'd get left with a vacuum in there, which we don't. So this is evidence for sound waves transferring energy and information, but not matter. We also need to look at water waves as examples of waves transferring energy and not matter. So here we have a pool of still calm water and we're going to drop a twig into the pool and we would see ripples, waves move out from that source to the edges of the pool. This is our energy moving away from the source. But if this was a still calm pool of water, the twig wouldn't move. It would bob up and down, but it wouldn't move outwards to the edges. This is evidence that waves do not transfer matter, because if they did, if the water particles moved away from the source, we'd see the twig moving with the water particles. But we don't see the twig moving, and this is because the waves do not transfer matter. They only transfer energy and information. So now it's time to check our understanding. We're going to look at these two questions here. First one, what do all waves transfer? Energy, money, matter, or particles? And the second question, Keith is trying to prove to his brother that waves do not transfer matter. He uses water waves as an example. Discuss the evidence he may have used and explain why this proves waves do not transfer matter. So pause the video now, have a go at these questions, and then I'll check back with you in a minute. Well, what do all waves transfer energy? Well, let's work down the list here at some of these. It's clearly not money. That's just a silly answer there. It does not matter. We've just said waves do not transfer matter. If it doesn't transfer matter, it means it doesn't transfer particles. Remember, the particles just vibrate side to side, but they end up back where they started from, which leaves us with energy, which you knew was the right answer all along, didn't you? So waves transfer energy. And the second one here, Trying to prove to his brother that waves do not transfer matter. I'm going to discuss the evidence that we may have used to explain why this proves waves do not transfer matter. Or if you remember, we talk about dropping the twig into the pond. The ripples will move out from the twig, but the twig doesn't move away with them. 
this shows that whilst the waves move out from the twig, transfer and energy, do not take the twig with them, which means they do not transfer matter. And just remember, waves transfer energy, but not matter. Okay, and here's your exam review. See if you can do these ones on your own. Which of the following do waves never transfer? Is it information, matter, energy, or none of the above? And the second question, with reference to matter, energy, and particles, explain how waves travel through a medium. Make sure you use those keywords there. Good luck, guys. Thanks for watching this video, looking at how waves transfer energy. I hope you've enjoyed it, and more importantly, I hope you found it useful. See you soon, guys.